Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to Whiskey Wanders. And today we are back on the west side of Los Angeles at a Costco located in Culver City because it is that time of the year again uh, when we start to see some of the first rounds of the quadrannual release of whiskey from Booker's start to come out. So today we find a great find of Booker's 2023-1, that's Charlie's Batch, as well as a very interesting and sort of underrated scotch from Arbolor, the Abunda. Alba, <laughs> and really so much more. Now, before we get to the video, if you like these videos, if you like the wanders, if you like the hauls, the reviews, the unbottlings, the unboxings, the drink throughs, and really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you, and we have tons of amazing stuff cooking up for you, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel to grow and we are so thankful for that. But also you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and sometimes in between. Or right, now, let's get down to the video. All right, so to start off today, while I'm getting warmed up a little bit, and hopefully you are too, let's do a real quick whiskey check. Get a glass. I think today we are going to be enjoying a little bit of this Kirkland small batch. <laughs> yeah, you know, not Kirkland not always known for making the best whiskey. Um, but this one is the 1792 Barton's uh, collaboration with Kirkland, uh, which is pretty impressive because uh, they actually wanted to put their name on the same bottle as Kirkland. So. Let's get a little, see if we can get a pop here. Oh, wait, turn it over. Both sides. See if we can get a pop. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's one thing they got down, it's how to get the pop and get some juice and to whiskey. Because honestly, really, you can never drink too much of it. You can only just <laughs> drink it too fast. Cheers. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. All right, so first up for today is the first release from 2023 uh, from Booker's, which is this Booker's Charlie's Batch. Now, seeing as Booker's has a, a new release that comes out basically every quarter, you know, four times a year, and the company is probably quite big, and it is not a tiny company, but even with that, uh, it comes out every quarterly, it means that the company is eventually gonna run out of people to name batches after, right? <laughs> I mean, at some point, they're going to have to start naming batches after summer interns. But ultimately, I guess, as long as it is delicious, which it is, <laughs> I guess they can name it after whomever they like. Uh, also, it is kind of endearing, I do like it. And this one specifically is named in honor of Charlie Hutchins, who is actually still alive. Uh, I guess he does a fair amount of fishing. Uh, he's doing well, <laughs> but he is the original maker of these little bottle coffins uh, that are now the hallmark of Booker's. He was at one point an employee of Booker's and started to make these little boxes in his garage with his brother, which eventually grew to a full blown cabinetry business, which is kind of a cool little story for sure. Uh, this Booker's Charlie's Batch specifically has a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye and 12% malted barley. And it is aged exactly seven years, one month and eight days and 45 seconds, <laughs> which I think they do down to the moment when they kind of taste it every single day to see, is it ready now? Is it ready now? And this one basically I do consider allocated because well, it only comes out once a year and it's the only batch. So <laughs> it's a one time kind of one off as well. Now the price that we see here for Charlie's batch at Costco is a very good price, maybe even below MSRP at $79.99. But it is also available in the mid-range at Total Wine for $99.99. And then lastly at BevMo at the highest price point, uh, which is usually how it goes with BevMo, at $109.99. Uh, so this means that by buying it at Costco, we ended up saving about $20 off the next lowest price at uh, Total Wine, or that comes out to 25%. The ABV on this 2023-1 Booker's is a very, very respectable, some would say overproofed, not I, but some, and they might even be right, um, but it is ABV'd at 63.3%, which you can see right there, or a beautiful 126.6 proof, uh, which is really made for, uh, for those of us who are fire breathers. Now the tasting notes on it mention a very nut-driven dessert on the palate. So think uh, honey sweetness, English toffee, fudge brownies, peanuts, and all the kind of delicious nutty desserts that are out there. In fact, <laughs> it reminds me of Mrs. Tenney's Better Than Sex Brownies, which uh, I did not name. That was her name for it, not mine. <laughs> and it was a bit of a, mis a misnomer, but uh, she used to bring them to the block parties, and man, were they good. That being said, the scores on it, uh, on average, that we caught, that we could find uh, from the whiskey commentary at, are exceedingly good at 94 points. So 
Uh, I was always going to buy one of these at least, uh, but now seeing the scores and seeing the tasting notes on them, uh, man, I, I must really consider kind of getting a couple more of these uh, if I can find them at a reasonable price. So uh, this is the Booker's Charlie's Batch. Definitely a buy. Next up, we swing from one side of the whiskey world, well, to another. And in fact, from one side of the world <laughs> to another, uh, literally, uh, we have a very interesting offering that's offered here at Costco from Arbolor, which is the Arbolor Abunda Alba. <laughs> now, sorry, right up front, my pronunciation is going to be quite bad. Uh, my Gallic is very rusty, especially after, you know, never speaking it. Arbolor is based out of Speyside. It is typically more known for single malts that are very heavily sherried. And this time around with the Alba, it really is kind of replacing the sherry cask aging with X bourbon cask aging. Also, also the word Alba could be in reference to the scientific name for American white oak, which is the barrel that is used to age bourbons. Uh, Quercus Alba, who I am certain was at least one of the Roman senators who specifically called in sick on March 15th, 44 BC. Beware of the Ides of March. But according to Arbolor, the word Alba is the word for Scotland in Gaelic, which Google seems to think is true, but ChatGBT seems to think that it is Proto-Celtic that means white or bright. So I'll leave them to figure out <laughs> whichever one it is, and whatever it means, this line of Arbolor is meant to refocus the main attributes of the whiskey towards ex-bourbon and away from ex-sherry finishing. They do this by using first fill ex bourbon cast. So those casts might even still be wet from the bourbon they had in before that. What this does is it maxes out the bourbon taste that gets into the scotch. And as an additional bonus, uh, it is bottled at cast strength, but without any age statement. The price that we see here at Costco is listed at $69.99. And in fact, it is the exact same price that we see uh, at Total Wine. So it kind of holds up my theory that Total Wine only gouges us on bourbon. <laughs> because the scotch, they do seem reasonably priced in comparison to each other. So whichever place you end up picking up, there's not going to be any savings or cash one versus the other. The ABV on the Arbolor, as I mentioned, is at cash strength at 57.1% ABV or 114.2 proof, which is uh, really going to give it a nice kick and make it ideal for after dinner or perhaps a late night cap. The tasting notes on it mention that it is a lot drier in taste than the previous sherry-based Arbolors. It has a very nice ABV heat, which is kind of obvious, with citrus, tannin, and a distant fruitiness compounded with bread and biscuits on the back end, which makes me think of delicious lemon cream and scone. Perhaps something you would serve at a gentleman's tea party, <laughs> if that's a thing. Is that a thing? It should be a thing. Brilliant idea. Gentleman's tea party. Get rid of the tea, keep all the whiskey, and the big hats. The overall score on it uh, is a decent 83 points out of 100, but uh, the score actually does seem a lot lower than I would have thought this Arbolor would have gotten. Uh, and if I were to wildly speculate, which I'm about to do, uh, it could be that it didn't get as much attention from the Americans as uh, was initially intended, and it ended up losing a lot of the Arbolor lovers from overseas. <laughs> but again, that's just kind of a wild speculation. So that being said, uh, we didn't end up purchasing it, but with such a high ABV and a nice fruity, biscuity tasting notes on there, uh, I may have to reconsider it next time I see it if they do bring that cost down just a little bit. All right, so that's it for today's Whiskey Wanders, this time at the Costco Culver City. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And in fact, I hope you enjoy all of our videos, <laughs> whether it is the Wanders or the Hauls or the reviews or the unbottlings, the unboxings or the drink throughs or really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you because we have tons of amazing stuff cooking up for you. And if you do enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel grow again. So, so thankful for that. But also because I like to think it is good for your whiskey mojo. It pleases the whiskey gods and you also get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and you know, sometimes in between. All right, now before I go, just remember if you do find a whiskey that you love, <laughs> just buy it. Because if you don't, somebody else surely will. And in this case, it might even be me. All right, everybody, I'm out. Have a great rest of your week and adios.